Hey y'all, it's Diana, and thank you so much for following me down the rabbit hole on another adventure. We're back into our world where today, since I'm feeling better since I've been sick in my last video, which you saw was condo items that I liked, today I'm going to show you some cosplay outfits that I have made, and maybe you'll like some of them and maybe try to make them yourself. So we have seven today, so this is going to be kind of a short video. Some of them I'll put together and I'll cut that out so you can see the resemblance between the actual picture and then me. And we'll see how this goes. So, let me get the first one out. Alright. So, here's the first one. And if you notice who this is, before I even say it, you're awesome. But if you don't, this is Sans from Undertale. And he's one of my favorite characters, and I figured it would be kind of cool to have a cosplay of him. I've had it since the game came out. I just don't wear it as much anymore because, you know, nobody really notices it anymore. I put it on one time and someone told me they didn't watch or didn't know what Homestuck was and I said, I'm Undertale and they felt awkward. <laughs> but, I'll show you in my inventory the, uh, the things you'll, you'll need. As you can see them here, I'm going to show you them and they're kind of easy to get a hold of. All of this is very easy to get a hold of, actually. So you'll see the list isn't very long, and the first thing you're going to need is a white starter t-shirt. You can get these for 100 coins at Bola, I want to say that's right. It's, uh, it's really cheap, you see a lot of starter people wear it, hence the name of it, but it, it works because we know he only wears a white shirt and some shorts. The next one is Eye of Ra, which is right here and that's from Sugar Star. This one costs gems. I managed to find it on the market for a couple uh, thousand at the time. I think someone was just wanting to get rid of it and I thought it worked well for when he's angry and he has this one blue eye which you can kind of tell. If you have hair that blocks this little spot right here it makes it easier. I had a better hair for this but I, but I, uh, I traded it. <laughs> so the thing you'll need next is some fuzzy slippers. And you'll see here you'll need the white ones. These ones are the second most wanted on here. I know black is the most wanted, but white are a little easier to get. I want to say in the market they're about three million? Three to four million? Because people ask for five to six for black, so I assume that one's a little bit cheaper. And um, you can buy it on the market, you can trade for it, or you can just wait until they show up in the mystery Mart and then buy it with gems. The next two things are very easy to get. You'll need a white taffy candy for the hair and a white lollipop for the skin. See, because if you take it off, it's like human songs. And then you put it back on and it's like the skeleton. Those are so easy to get. All of you that play this know you use these candies to change your hair color, to change your eye color, to do all that stuff. Now the next thing you'll need, this is entirely optional. You pick a hair that you think Sans would wear. I originally had the long vampire hair, but I traded it by accident and I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> by the time this goes up, I might already have it back. But I choose a hair that hides part of the eye, or it makes it look natural. Because if you wear like, I had this hair on him originally. See, it covers his eye and this sticks out from the eye of rock but you pick something like this with bangs or something of the same idea and it kind of covers it and kind of makes it look more natural you also can see because I made my eyes bigger a little bit you can see it blinking over there but you can fix that the next thing this is also entirely optional but I think it adds a little bit of character to it is the ice freeze eyes I have the elegant ones and you'll see here if we zoom in it kind of goes with the blue lightning it kind of just adds on to the power of it you know like his blue eye power I don't know how to explain that part um, <laughs> the next part obviously to make sure you know he's a skeleton you're going to need really sweetie socks which I happen to have two pairs so if someone ever finds me and wants to make this cosplay I will gladly lend you 
the skelly sweetie socks obviously first come first serve unless I manage to get another pair but that's entirely up to you they're very they're cheap to find on the market they were just a part of a Halloween dress one year I think now for the eyes you're going to need vivid spark eyes I use blue because of his eyes but you can entire you can use whatever you want if you want to make the um, the swap version you can use the red ones if um, you just want them to have normal eyes you can do the white ones but it kind of blends in I choose the blue ones because it goes with it for his shorts sweetheart scholars shorts which as you can see at the moment I'm selling a pair by the time this goes up they might be sold who knows this is entirely out of luck if you actually manage to grab those and you want to make this cosplay I figured these worked pretty well because he has long um, people draw him like well with long basketball kind of shorts, but I don't have a pair of those But I had a pair of these and they seem pretty close And the last thing you'll need is a jacket. I chose the Camo cute jacket now the one I had before was this one the cold weather jacket, which I think Still fits it pretty well. I just went with this one to see how it looked and you can go with either one or you can come up with your own jacket That's entirely up to you. I think I'll actually leave that one off right now but yeah, that's my Sans outfit. The only thing I think would make this better is if I used to have a ketchup costume, but if they like made a hot dog on here and you walked around with that, that'd be pretty funny. Alright, so now on to the next cosplay. There's the next one. Hopefully you can tell who this is automatically, probably not, unless you watch anime. But this is Asuna from Sword Art Online, and this is her fairy outfit. I also have her normal outfit, which I'll be showing you, which is a lot easier to make. And this one is a little hard to make. Both of her outfits, the only challenging part to get a hold of is the hair, because this hair was hard to get in the first place. So, let's show you what's in this one. I don't think the list is that long. It would actually be shorter. Yeah, it's shorter. You only need this stuff. So, for the ribbon here, you're gonna need a B. Ryan Slim Bow. I hope I said that right. And you can find this at Blue Cow. It's only a couple thousand. You have to be level 21 to get it. That's the only thing. You may be able to get it for gems if you're absolutely desperate for it, but I just say wait till you're level 21. The thing you'll need for her top is a Seraphic top. And you can find this. How much does it sell for? Yeah, it sells basically around 1.5. I got it for two because I got it a long while back and just held on to it. But this is uh, not a hard shirt to find. It's just harder to find than, say, like the rest of these objects. But um, it's not totally expensive or out of price range for most people. This part is the one of the hard parts to actually find. The hair is hard to get, but these are hard to find. The daylight elf ears. It took me months to find these ears, and I like I wanted to use other ones, but the other ones I kept putting on just weren't fitting her, because I kept looking at the outfit and I'm like, well, her ears stick out. But yeah, you can find these in the enchantment part of the market. They're a little bit more pricey, I think. Yeah, 4.5 to 5 million. But if you find them, try to get a hold of them if you're wanting to do this, because these ears are pretty cool and they work with a lot of outfits other than this one. So the wings, you'll need good fairy wings. This was also hard for me to find. This is all my luck that I managed to find these within a couple of months. Um, this came out of the fairy tale box and I had to trade for these, but you'll notice they kind of look like her wings. They kind of look like the wings that she had. They're the closest to it. They shouldn't be too hard to find, but then again, people can keep items from you. The hair. You all know what hair this is. It's the Radiant Messenger Long. It's one of the most wanted ones, alongside the dark version of it, which I, the name completely escapes me right now. But this is probably going to be the hardest item for you to find. Now you can try and substitute it with another hair, who knows, and sometime there might be a hair that comes out that looks better than this one. 
for it. But if you really want to make this now, I would say aim for this hair or something along this line that's really long. Now the two also easiest parts to get other than the bow would be the swimsuit bottom. Just fine. You can buy a white pair. You can find these. These are the ones I use just because they were the ones I had on hand. I recommend doing any white swim bottoms. I would say modest kini, but if you put it on, you can see it kind of cuts up here. And if you remember from her outfit, pretty much everything is hidden behind this little wrap or her little dress skirt. Now, this is definitely the easiest part you can find. I think I remember this cost like 20 gems, maybe a little less. It's what I use for her skirt. And it's the closest thing to it right now. I tried multiple other things, and this one just stuck well to me for the outfit. And that, the swim bottoms and the bow are the easiest part. I say the ears and the hair are the hardest part. And the last thing you'll need, which almost everybody almost has, is winter rosy cheeks. Because they add to it. She's anime, and they have little blushy cheeks. And I seem to recall there were a lot of moments where she could have blushed in this outfit. So, yeah. That is the outfit for Asuna in her fairy outfit. And I will show you her regular outfit as well. Here's her normal one. You can see, the only thing that changed is I'm wearing way less items than before. Here's the dress. It's the acclaimed dress from Lady King. You buy it in red and white. Same thing with the thigh highs, the red and white. The only thing different is the shoes. The shoes are Empyrean Emissary boots and they're from a couple years back. They're probably not hard to find or they're probably not even expensive. I think I think I managed to get these out of the box when they came out. If you happen to find boots that fit this better by all means go for it. It's your cosplay. This is just what I picked. And again, make sure you have the hair that fits it. On to the next one. Alright, here's the next one. I'm sure you all know who this is as well. This is Maka from Soul Eater. This was actually the first cosplay I actually made. And it took a while because I made this way back before half of these items were like common like people put them in the market but because they weren't common around a lot of people yet they would be expensive and I just recently added the spirits around me just because I thought you know that'd be like the souls I kind of wanted a red one but I went with the first one that was offered to me which is entirely fine I think the white looks well you'll notice the only thing I changed in my appearance is actually I had black eyes for all of my cosplays and now I have green eyes because Maka has green eyes and we'll start with the shirt you will need the high roller shirt from Lady King it's in the elevated design I think is the store where they have all of the prom dresses at one point and everything a lot of people get their wedding dresses from there on here and I bought this shirt I bought it in white with a blue tie even though I don't think she has a blue tie I think she has a green one but the one with the green tie, I think, has a whole other colored shirt, so I just went with this one. For the skirt. Relay skirt. Super easy to get. It's at Lady King 2. It's in the Lady King store. Now this is, I think, going to be the hardest part if you want these. These are entirely optional. I just think they add to it. And it's the Spirit Flames. And they're from the 2009 Bento Box. You can get them in... White, black, blue, red, or yellow, I think. This was before they added purple and pink and all of that into the bento items, but I picked white. I originally wanted red, like I said, but I think it adds to it. It's kind of like the souls you collected. Now from that, the jacket I'm wearing, this is entirely optional. I've seen other people do this one differently as well. They've actually used this one. I have the Court of Bats, but... I went with, find it, there we go, the Classy Devil Jacket. It's 2010 Halloween item. You can kind of see why I used it. It's not overly expensive. 
there's multiple colors of it as well. I just picked black because her jacket is black. But like I said, if you have the Court of Bats jacket, it also fits. It's just more open. So I stick with the closed one like she would have for her uniform. I've seen people do these differently, the boots. I chose Sinister Boots from Skeleton Key. They're a couple gems. You can do those. Actually, these might work too. Those work. <laughs> I got those in a trader's on. Um, you can pick almost any pair of boots that are bigger like this and they're black and white. Alright, so from there, the hair. You all know she has pigtails, so we choose the Clarissa hair, which everyone I know buys at some point with their gems because they don't want the noob hair, they want the cool hair, and this is literally like the go-to hair for like everybody. So if you buy this, hold on to this hair in general because you know you'll want it back eventually. But it also works well for this cosplay, even though we know she doesn't have ribbons in her hair, it still works. The scythe. I have two scythes that I think work for this. It depends all on you. I used this big one from 2012, the Nightmare Miasma. Miasma? I don't know how to say that word. But it's the it's a bigger scythe. It's got more detail to it. Or if you want to keep it small and simple, go with the 2010 Deadly Scythe. It's smaller, it's kind of like, you can probably buy either or, it probably wouldn't matter which one you pick, I just kind of go with this one because it fits kind of like all of the story, maybe like Black Blood or if he was upgraded to a the death weapon, um, yeah, I prefer this one, you can go with either or. And you do not have to have winter rosy cheeks for her, again, I just wear these with all of my outfits here, we'll take it. Alright, and there she is. This outfit's probably the easiest to make other than the spirits, but the, again, those are entirely optional. The next one. The next one. Now, I don't know if you've ever watched, I'm probably gonna butcher the name of this. It has the bear on the front where one half is good and one half is bad, and I think it's called Danganronpa. I want to say that's how you say it. And it and if you have seen the first season, you'll know who this is. This is, I want to say her name is Kayo, Kayoko, or Kayoto, Kayoko, it's Kayoko, okay, I had to think about it for a second. This was one of my favorites. Now, I had many other favorites, but this one, I had to make her outfit. I don't know, I just really liked her character, not just because, you know, if you've seen the ending, you, you would know why, but I just really kind of trusted her character and she also was very pretty with her purple hair so this one will be a little bit more challenging to make you can work around it I'm sure and find some alternate items for the more expensive items again that's entirely up to you how you want to work with that the easiest items I will probably show first because it kind of shows them in the easiest order almost so I'll start with socks. I chose ribbed knee highs from Sugar Star, and they're from level eight. You can buy them for a couple thousand. They're not even expensive. And I noticed from her outfit that they like barely showed up above her boots that she's wearing. So I think that fit that pretty well. The shirt I chose, and I actually got a comment from this, and it. It kind of made me a little bit angry because I was like, oh, I finished it, look! And I sent a picture of her and the net, and they go, but she has a red ribbon. I could have smacked them. <laughs> but this is the shirt I chose, the Aristotle shirt. I think it fit very well for the look she had. Even if you want something with a red ribbon, I'm sure you can add one or find one. I just went with this because I thought it fit it. This is one of the items that you can probably find something around like very easily I'm sure those boots would probably work but the boots I chose for this were the ones I got that were the curved pirate boots yes if you play this game you know very well how hard it is to get these and how much people want for them but when you get them there's so many possibilities with them I'm sure like now there's a new pirate box there was some winter items that could probably replace them 
that's entirely up to you what you want. You could probably even figure out how to use these tall laced up boots. I just picked these because I thought it fit her more and I had them on hand. So. Again, to each their own. Pick what items you want. Again, <laughs> most <laughs> most of my characters have this long hair. We already had a conversation about that, but again, you can probably find something to fit it just as well. For her jacket, I chose a prep jacket. And she kind of has a- she almost has like a very similar jacket in the show. So that's what made me think of it. It fits her with her preppy, mysterious kind of look. They all were mysterious. We'll skip the winter cheeks because again, that's on all of my characters. For some reason, I just never take them off. For her skirt, we had an. At one point, we had school uniforms, and I thought this came out at the perfect time. So I grabbed the black kawaii school uniform skirt, and it fit her very well. It's. It doesn't go too far up that the shirt doesn't look like it fits it but it's also not so short that like you can't see anything like to make it obvious about her about who she's supposed to be so I think the skirt fits it very well you could probably find it in the market still I actually have two of these all right so the little we'll zoom in over here the little ghost ribbon now she has a ribbon in her hair and it doesn't have a ghost on it but we work with what we have and it is the Ghosty Ghost Hair Decoration. I think this fits very well. If something comes out that's another black ribbon, I'll probably switch it at some point. But other than that, I will probably keep that. And the last item is her gloves. You'll notice that she wears gloves on the anime, and you eventually learn why. And these had also come out perfectly. They were holiday 2016, so they were during Christmas. And they just fit so well with the formal look. They're not too bulky. They fit well to her hands. This one may be a little bit more challenging to make, but I think a lot of I think a lot of you who watch this will probably end up being able to make it at some point. And by all means, make your own version of it. I would love to see that at some point. So on to the next one. Alright, here's the next one, and you all know who this is, even though it is quite irritating when someone comes up and says, Finn! <laughs> this is Fiona, and I actually have cake here with me too. Now this is probably... wait, I want to say... I want to say this is an easy one to get a hold of, but at the same time it's not. Because... One, I'm holding the wrong sword in my hand. There we go. <laughs> you can use either sword. I just happened to have that one before I had Fiona's sword. So you can find this whole set, probably. People are more likely selling it than trading it, just because it's not entirely cheap. It's like $2 million to $3 million a piece. But as you can see, there's only three pieces to her outfit. So I will show you them. Here is Fiona the Human, and you'll see they all came out of an Adventure Time mystery box from 2011. This outfit is six years old when this video goes up. Holy crap. <laughs> you see that it has the whole outfit. It's got the backpack, the shirt, the skirt, the shoes, and the socks. All of it together. Now the next part is her hat. It has the hair to it. Her hair isn't separate from it. It's there together with it. And I actually have a candy on to make my hair match the blonde because I have a different color hair with it. And it works better if you don't wear a hair behind it, like if you just leave it as is because if you have another hair on, the bangs appear or it kind of messes with the design of it a little bit. But it's up to you if you want to keep your hair on when you do the outfit. Next is her sword, which you saw me change before. Now she had her own sword. You see it. You know it from the show. It's crystal. It's this pink one. And there was... There was, I want to say, three different swords that came out. It was this one, thin sword, and then the, the dead one. And you saw me holding the dead one before. 
This one was the hardest to find. I managed to end up with the dead one before I got a hold of this one, so you can actually have any of those swords and you'll be fine. But if you want to fit the whole Fiona thing, try and find this sword. The last thing, the pet. Cake the cat. She runs back and forth in front of you. And she also came from the Adventure Time box, and she also gains you some float. I don't know why it says she came from Sugar Star, because you couldn't buy her unless you got her out of the box. And I actually had to buy her from the market, because I was not lucky enough to get her out of the box. But if you want to fit again, Fiona, get Cake the Cat. And that's this one. This one's a little bit easier to get a hold of, probably. As a whole set, if you have the money, you'll definitely get it quicker by just buying it, or you can try your luck and trade for it. Right, next one. Okay, here is the last one I have, and the reason I save this for the last one is because people are going to hate me for the items that are involved with it. Now, I do have a picture that I'm going to show you of me with someone next to me, and they have a different version of the outfit. You can go with either one of ours, or you can make your own. But this is Undertaker from Black Butler. This is the one I just finished recently, because again, you'll see by the items, they're harder to get and harder to find. So let me show you. You'll see from the first thing I did, my appearance, I changed my hair to some dark gray. You can buy candy or you can change it in the appearance. And I left my eyes black. I used to have fiend eyes for this outfit, but then I realized that went a little too far, so after I traded those away, I kept it with some simple eyes. I didn't try to go overboard and try to make them look any different. So, the first item is the sleeveless kimono. This is from the 2009 black bento box. This was hard for me to find. This was actually the reason I didn't finish the outfit yet until recently because someone had to sell this and regardless of the price, which is why I'm poor right now, I paid for it. <laughs> it was about five to six million just to get a hold of this kimono and I tried multiple other things to take its place and to me it just wasn't working. I had an idea set and I was gonna go with it. Now the jacket. You've seen this jacket. I showed it to you earlier from Maka. This is the Court of Bats, and I thought this fit very well. It gave some sleeves to the kimono. It, like, kind of flares out just a tiny bit, so you notice it away from the kimono. And I think it fit in very well. It's a little bit shorter than what I wish, but our world doesn't have a tendency to make things for cosplay. You kind of have to do it on your own. So... Out of those two items so far, I want to say the jacket is probably going to be easier to find first. Now, originally for the shoes, I did have my curb pirate boots on from the Kyoko one. But for this one, I have comfy day boots on, which is more reasonable to everyone on the game. Even if you have the pirate boots on, you don't think it'll fit. You can have any pair of black boots on under this. They're only going to see this much, and that's all they need to see, because if you look at him, he has black shoes on, but we don't know if they're boots or slip-ons. We don't know how Undertaker rolls, but I chose these just because you only see that much. Okay, so the reason this says Cozy Touch Thigh Highs is before I had any boots on, I ran around in my socks. Again, <laughs> you can wear black socks. And as long as they don't see past the kimono, it doesn't make a difference. But you don't have to wear those. They're just there because that's what I had on before I put the shoes on. Now for the part that will bum a lot of you out. You already know where I'm headed. Right there. These lovely things that everyone has as a goal other than demon eyes for some ungodly reason. <laughs> like, these are just the two items everyone wants. Vampire teeth. To me, play a big part if you want to play half the Black Butler cosplays. If you want to be Grell, he has sharp teeth. If you want to be Undertaker, when you look at him from the anime and he's smiling at you, he has sharp teeth. And to me, I mean, you can leave him smirking, you can even frown as him. That is all up to you, but to me, I think this makes the outfit. I think it really adds to it. You don't have to have them. It's entirely optional. 
That would be the hardest item for you to get though, unless you already have them. Now, my classy ghost hat. This lovely top hat I have on my head, I think fits him very well. There's other versions of the top hat, and there's also just different top hats. There's like two or three different ones up there. Pick which one you want. I just happened to pick this one because I had it in my inventory. I don't have to click on the hair again because you see, <laughs> same long hair. And I don't know why he's blushing. This part is the probably the easiest item you'll get a hold of. Splendid spider gloves. If I could zoom out a little bit here from my face, you see it gives you long black nails and it hides the glove part under the sleeve of your jacket. And also if we look at him, he has long nails. No no way of getting around that. He has long nails. But you know what? These are probably the cheapest things you'll find in the market other than the comfy day boots. Now, since he's being Undertaker, we know he has a scythe. It is entirely up to you which scythe you pick. I picked this one because it keeps my posture straight. And if you wear a kimono, you will know how important that is that you stand straight because if you stand normal, it like spreads into like a pants part and that's not, that doesn't look good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> but I chose this one. It keeps her standing straight. It adds a little bit of color to the outfit with the red and the eyes add a little bit of creepiness to them. And that is actually it for this outfit. That's actually the last outfit I have saved. So, I hope you enjoyed this. It tended to be a short video, so when I edit this down right now, it says 40 minutes while I'm recording. So hopefully it's not 40 minutes long, because I don't want to waste your time. But, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some ideas for some cosplays. Give me any ideas of some cosplays you want to see, and I will do my best to make them, and maybe we'll make a part two as well as I might make a part two for my condo items from my last video. So, thank you guys so much for going on this adventure with me, and I will see you on our next adventure wherever the rabbit hole may take us. Bye!